Welcome back everybody to Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature, typically down at Hallover Inlet, but today we are over visiting its sister to the north, Boca. And we can tell we're at Boca by the party crews coming in. Everybody likes to have a good time down here at Lake Boca. But let's go ahead and get our five round competition started and let's see who can be victorious today, the captains or the inlet. And here we go in round one, and we got a couple bow riders right out the gate. And it's a rough day. Boca is firing a little bit here. It'll be interesting to see if our crew up front can actually hang on. No! Our guy goes down already. He does quickly get back up to try and stay in the fight, but Boca's going to keep pounding at this crew. Our guy looks like he might have had a little bit too much fun at the lake as well. And here we go. Now we're really trying to play with the inlet. Catch a little air. Dangerous game in a dangerous spot, my man. But he's going to keep rolling, and I think he's going down again. Tough. Oh, no! He got so high. He smacked down hard. Our guy looks like he's down for the count this time, and Boca takes the win. And that's gonna bring us to round two, where we're gonna feature a Boston Whaler making its way out of Boca, and it's a little couple's date. Man, wifey looks like she's in attack position. She is ready to roll, bro. She is hanging on, and Cap's ready to try and send it out the inlet. So we're gonna take a moderate approach here, but this approach is good for this boat. Keeping the bow high, working their way out, wifey on the ready and they look pretty solid and we'll take a win for the boats here in the second round this will bring us to the third round of our competition where we're going to feature a concept 44 working its way out of the inlet this is a big boat with a lot of horsepower but our crew's choosing to take it slow and on a day like today it's fairly big the waves are fairly compact we have a very short period rolling out Going across the bar at an idle pace is probably not the best decision. Our captain really needs to get up on these throttles a little bit, but unfortunately they decide they're going to take the slow roll and that never pays off. And here we go. Boca's going to attack back and our guys wind up stuffing the bow. And of course, as you know, we only have a few rules here on BBH. And one of them is if you stuff the bow, you take a loss. Our guys get the free Boca decorants and the loss in this round. And this will bring us into the fourth round of our competition with Boca up two to one. And here we go. We've got a Jupiter making its way into Boca. Now, Captain's opted to start at least with the slow roll approach. Let's see how this fares or if he opts to go ahead and land them throttles. And here we go. He's pushing them forward. Going to plow this boat straight into the inlet and looks like he's not going to have any issues. And this Jupiter will take a win for the boats in the fourth round. And that will bring us back to a two to two tie as we move into the fifth and final round of our competition. Who will take the win in this episode? Will it be the Boats or Boca Inlet? And man, Boca's going to have a little bit of a challenge here. Our crew is absolutely trying to send it. Man, they got air. It takes a lot to get a boat this size that far out of the air. Cap just had those throttles, started to open them up, hit that wave at just the right spot, and they get this thing completely airborne. Cap does have to come back off the throttles a little bit. He realizes quickly he couldn't maintain that pace, but it looks like he should make it out of the inlet without any issues and wind up taking a win for the boats here in the fifth round, which will give the boats the win in this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.